And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south and hurt. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis slot in at the small and power forward. Then it's Holiday, and it's Nance, and it's Nora in at the two. For three, Ingram gets the three-pointer to fall. Ingram's got the first three points tonight for the Raptors. The key for Brandom is shooting with confidence. When he does this, he buries these trays. And to the Kumbo inside. He's defended by Randall. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Holiday against Westbrook. Pass to Harris. Shot clock at six. The shot, no good. Giannis with some nice D. On offense here, the Bucks. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. Well, in that one, they just had everything working offensively. It's a lot of fun when you get into that kind of a groove. You know, I love what the coaches did tonight. They pushed the right buttons time and time again. Here's Westbrook following the three by Milwaukee. Ingram outside. That one good for two. Ingram's got five. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Here's Nora coming off a solid outing against Miami. Back to Middleton. Nance sets a screen for Middleton. And another three for Milwaukee. And we're already seeing a little rhythm out of this offense. They've hit three out of four so far. Randall against Giannis. Pass to Ingram. Back to Randall. Fires for three. A rebound by the Bucks. This, their first look at this year's Toronto squad. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. That's a two from Randall. Nance gets the rebound. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Shot's good by Middleton. And if you're trying to get the most out of Middleton offensively, put him in catch-and-shoot situations. Williamson outside. Back to Westbrook. He's looking for Middleton and finds him. Inside, they get a hand on it. Nance dishes to Middleton over Williamson. And Middleton, the bucket on the assist by Nance. Nine points in the game so far. And now you can see the D having problems stopping the mid-range jumper. Just not really closing out as much as they need to. Now here's Westbrook. Still yet to score. Over Holiday. No good again that time. Bucks leading by nine. And to the Kumbo inside. He's covered by Westbrook. Here's Ingram. Hits the target from 18 feet. Ingram's got his third basket of the night. Looking silky smooth there. I like watching Brandon Ingram use the mid-range area. You want to talk about explosiveness? This is your man, Zion Williamson. Kevin, I mean, when he was in college, he blew through a shoe, making a cut. He's so strong, Kevin, the leather couldn't hold up. Now here's Williamson following the miss by Giannis. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Harris. Passes it to Randall. Now here is Harris. He's guarded closely. 
In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing their defensive sequences with the backboard. That has been key. And the double up on Kumbo. The pass to Middleton. Takes the three. And out of bounds, it was Toronto gains possession. And looking now, it's the numbers for Russell Westbrook. He had a strong showing last season. Last season put up about 16 points a game, seven assists, and five rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. You know, mentally, he's a pass-first type of player. It gets everyone involved and engaged, and that really sparks this offense. And the Bucks with possession here after Westbrook's mystery. Mora, the pass to Ron the Kumbo, and the call will be against Julius Randle. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. And the Bucks with possession here. Seven point differential. Pass to Ron the Kumbo. Just five to shoot. And the jumper is on the mark. Ronda DeCumbo has got his second bucket of the game to go. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Williamson is screen on Middleton for three. Ingram, and he's good on the three ball. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Here's Ronda DeCumbo. Got a piece of it, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Fifth is Giannis Antetokounmpo. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Now, here's Antetokounmpo. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Off target with the open look. Randall is screen on Giannis. Here's Ingram. Trying to get open is Randall. And it's Ingram missing. That was excellent contest. Preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. The correct decision by Middleton. Moving to his wide open teammate, Chris. A terrific passer off the wing. Now here's Ingram. Ten points for him. Well, how long does all of your off-season rest usually last you at the start of the regular season? Like, like, when do you start to really feel the games again? You know, the fatigue comes at you fast, Kevin. So that rested feeling only lasts about a couple weeks. Nothing wears you out like playing NBA ball. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Back to Anadokounmpo. Outside Holiday. Nance outside. Anadokounmpo. That's a two-pointer. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Raptors trail by six. Dishes it to Randall. Ingram outside. Randall surveying the D. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second. The rugged nature of Randall's game. Just daring defenders to foul him. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg. They really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away game for mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. Kayla Martin's checked in for Toronto. The Bucks also at the sub. Trey Lyons checked in for under Takumbo. And Toronto will go for a different look. Clark, he's checked in for Randall. Vanderbilt comes in for Zion Williamson. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Brandon Ingram. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Gary Harris. Now here's Westbrook. Nine point game is last outing. And the foul on Drew Holland. That is his first foul of the game. 14 Vanderbilt the pass to Westbrook. Here we go, 
Down to five on the shot clock. An elite defender. Holiday's speed and tenacity on this end is really infectious. Nance sets a screen for Holiday. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Mora can't get it to go. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Martin with the bucket. As tough as they come, Caleb Martin finishing through contact. Great determination. Bucks leading by five. Now Nance. No scoring in this one. Nance a screen. Here's Nora. Drills it from outside. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Here's the lob to the hoop. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. There's a reason Russell Westbrook ranks among the greatest ever in terms of assists. He excels at getting the ball to his open teammates. Nance dishes to Middleton. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but out, not be one to leave open. So timeout Started. called here. The first for Toronto. That is, he's jacked in for Russell Westbrook. Toronto with the ball. They trail by nine points. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist by Clark. That's not an easy finish, but Cam is good at keeping his composure. Good bucket. Martin against Middleton. Over Martin. Hernan Gomez with a screen for Rubio. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Unselfishness. Not only can Cam create for himself, he can also create for others. Miles a screen on Martin. Here's Middleton. Claps one in from the wing. Middleton's got 16 points. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. Now here is Hardaway. Lock at six. The rebound by the Bucks. And already they just take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the back. Ron Gomez with a screen on Martin. Here's Middleton. And he drops in the way up off the glass. 18 points for him. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. On the wing, Hardaway. Covered by Rubio. Vanderbilt setting the pick for Hardaway. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And he knocks down the first one. The Raptors making a switch here. Marshall's checked in. Hardaway hits them both. Milwaukee leading by seven. Middleton with it. 18 points for him. Lee finds Middleton. Over Marshall. Chris Middleton again. Middleton's got 20 points. And he's just one of those guys who's used to scoring with defenders draped all over him. Middleton there with great focus. Now here is Hardaway. Clark a screen on Rubio. Hardaway against Rubio. It's deflected. Middleton outside. Shoots the three. That shot is off. Outside Hardaway. And the foul called on Tim Hardaway Jr. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. 
Chris Middleton has been on display for Milwaukee. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a master quarter. Will return shortly. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Bucks? Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And also, they're doing something you don't see as much anymore, and that is converting time and time again from the mid-range. We've got Gary Harris. Randall out there with Williamson. Then there's Russell Westbrook, and it's Marshall in at the small four. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Giannis Adentacupo could arguably be called the most feared slasher in league history. He says, I just tried to read the crowd, read the walls, and see where I can beat them. There's a second there that you can attack the scene to change your speed. I've done this 25 to 30 times every night, so I know what to look for. Kevin? He definitely does, David. A master at his crap. Hey, DA, thanks for the report. Clever play by Russell Westbrook, using his body control to fake out the defender and get fouled in the act. Chris Middleton's checked in for Giannis on Katumbo. No good from Lee. Raptors trail by eight. Williamson outside. A stupendous finish in traffic. That's about as tough as a finish you'll see. But when you're up against someone as strong as Zion, contact doesn't phase him. Running Gomez kicks to Middleton. No good from outside. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. Pass to Marshall. Back to Westbrook. Loads it up for Williamson. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Let him go get it. The bounce is on display from Zion. Middleton inside the three-point line. And again, the Bucks miss. The Raptors have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Outside Westbrook, Master Randall. And it's blocked. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Another miss by Middleton. I'm not sure why he keeps trying his luck for deep here. It's just not his night. And that one's good, Williamson. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Smitty, when you look at a guy like Najee Marshall, he's certainly a high-motor kind of player. Always moving around the floor, Kevin. He's looking for an opening or to set a screen or to help on defense. Marshall isn't one to stand around. Outside Westbrook, the pass to Williamson. Five on the clock, jacks up a three. Westbrook, no good. Milwaukee in the lead. And here is Lee. Hasn't made one yet. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Rubio. Accurate with the jumper from the elbow. Even though Rubio's worked on the three ball, this is probably his more natural range. And the Raptors call time here. Fresh from a win against Portland. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. There were some unforced errors, but they also created some mistakes through their intensity on both ends. And Toronto making a change here. Ingram's checked in. Milwaukee also making some changes. Harry Nance has checked in for Herman Gomez. And it's Holiday in for Damian Lee. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Nance's screen on Westbrook. Nance outside. Pass to Rubio. Over Harris. And he gets it to go from the high post. And the Bucks lead by four. The Raptors have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Handle a screen on Middleton. 
Goes up on the high post, and there are the Raptors with another bucket. The production from Ingram just keeps getting better and better. A guy who knows how to get buckets. Miles passes to Middleton by Milwaukee. Holiday gets the bucket. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Bombs it up there for Ingram. Hammers the alley-oop through. Because of that link, Ingram can catch that pass no matter where you put it. Outside Holiday. Back to Rubio. Over Harris. Rubio misses. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Randall with a screen for Ingram. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Milwaukee's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Middleton looking it over. There's the three. Rebound by the Raptors. Randall's got his fifth rebound in this one. He dishes it to Westbrook. Ingram outside. Westbrook passes to Ingram. Williamson with a screen for Ingram. Ingram can't get that one to fall. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Holiday, the pass to Davis. And then slams it in. The underrated vision of Holiday. I like it when he's distributing, and I think his coach does as well. Passes to Ingram for the three. It's hauled in by Lyle. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Nance sets a screen for Holiday. Fires it up. Nance, no good. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Middleton against Ingram. To the left side wing. Rubio finds Middleton. Over Ingram. Middleton can't get it to go. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When did that change? It, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. But it's amazing how the game has evolved. Vanderbilt's checked in for Toronto. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Gary Harris. He hits both from the stripe. And so it's Rendell bringing it up now for the Toronto Raptors. It's a five-point game. Ingram dishes to Randall. Outside Westbrook, just four to shoot. A three. It's hauled in by Lyles. Lyles got rebound number five here tonight. The struggle is real. He's been way off with this shot all evening long. And not his quarter, scoring-wise. Just one of seven from the field. Raptors are gone. Six of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Or three, Westbrook. The rebound by the Bucks. Miles got his sixth rebound on the night. And a bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. And Jared Vanderbilt gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Personal some changes here for the Raptors. Brandon Clark comes in for Randall. And Martin subbed in for Ingram. The Bucks also with the sub. Lee's checked in. Middleton against Vanderbilt. Middleton the pass to Holiday. He gets that one. Holiday's got the lead up to nine now for Milwaukee. So often, Drew creates with the ball in his hands. This time, the play is created for him. And then Hardaway with the dunk. And hard to decide which is better the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. The pass to Nance. Week 
kicks it to Holiday. There's a screen. Aston Moore. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Mora's got four points in the quarter. That's their third straight make off an assist. Vanderbilt the pass to Clark. To the middle. Second chance shot. If it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Russell Westbrook. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Pass to Nora. Westbrook against Holiday. Ball's knocked loose. If the floater, it's Clark with the rebound. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Well, that alley-oop attempt, a case of what could have been, just didn't finish the play. No, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Mora, and against the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. Aji Marshall, he's checked in for Toronto. Reddish comes in for Russell Westbrook. Derek Rose is checked in for Milwaukee. Hardaway passes to Clark. It's stolen by Nance. Pass break, Milwaukee. And here they go. The Bucks working the ball around. They get it back. And another shot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Here's a look at the stats for Marshall. Last season's performance for him. Averaged about nine points per game. Three rebounds and two assists. Just a fantastic score off the bench. Always a factor in every game he plays. What I love is he heats up quick because when you're on the second unit, you have no time to mess around. Hardaway finds Reddish. 151 left to play here in the half. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Hardaway. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Middleton for three. Reddish grabs the rebound. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Hardaway from outside. Milwaukee with the rebound. Nance has got four rebounds now tonight. Kicks to Rose. Passes it to Morrow. Let's the three fly. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Hardaway against Holiday. Clark a screen on Holiday. Here's Hardaway. The shot comes out. Excellent D there from Holiday. Middleton with it. Hardaway picks him up. Nance sends a screen for Rhodes. Nance outside. There's the pass to Holiday. Here's Middleton. Rebounded by Hardaway. It's really a tail of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Hey, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. And so it's Milwaukee. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. All around, it's hard to point to any one area where they haven't had. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Taking a look here now at Toronto. Well, I know you want to talk about standings and such, but right now, it's the GY. And now let's talk about our game at hand. What a first half for the Milwaukee Bucks. The rebounding numbers. And that is it for halftime.
And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You know, Chris Middleton has really been making it happen, guys. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Here's who Adrian Griffin is starting the second half with. We'll see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward. Then it's Nance, and then it's Holiday, and it's Nora in at the shooting guard position. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Free throw shooting, not an area he has worried about at all. How about last year, 88% from the line. It's so fun to see Brandon Ingram evolve. He's a true student of the game, and each year he keeps improving. Milwaukee leading by 10. Outside Holiday. Over Westbrook. A 10-footer finds the target. Holiday's got six. We know Drew likes to get to the rim, but he's developed a mid-range jumper for when the defense is playing him that way. Ingram a screen on Holiday. Pass to Ingram. Ingram drawing the double team. Randall outside. Here's the three. A rebound by the Bucks. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Westbrook with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. And slam dunk by Harris. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. And it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. At the break in the action, we've got a chance now to look at last year's top rebounders. Third is Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a season he had in the paint. I mean, his rebounding numbers, really mind-boggling. Who wouldn't love to have a guy like that? 20 feet out. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Raptors trail by 12. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his mere decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. And of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. They trail by nine points. Handle a screen on Holiday. Here's Ingram. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Pass to Nance. On the wing, Holiday. He's covered by Westbrook. Kicks it out to Giannis. From outside, off the mark. Toronto's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. It's Ingram on the wing. A shake. The rebound by Holiday. Bucks leading by seven. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Nance outside. On the wing, yeah. Just five on the clock. And it goes down two points. And that's now ten points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And we've seen Giannis elevate his scoring ability over time. Great bucket there. And here we can check out the story on uh, Julius Randle. He's coming off an excellent season. And he ranked in the top 15 in points per game. One of the league's premier offensive threats. He was a top 10 rebounder last season for good reason. And he's an incredibly intense to compete with. And uh, for a full game, too. I mean, just nonstop. And the Bucks making a change here. Isles checked in. He's had four chances at the line. Made them all. Harris against Middleton. Oh, Nance in position. And they recover it. Middleton can't get it to go. 
Raptors trail by seven. Handle with the ball. Now guarded by Middleton. Passes it to Williamson. The dish now to Ingram. And to Williamson. Handle outside. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Lyles. Lyles got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. On the wing, Holiday. Good on the three-point shot. Holiday's got five points now in the quarter. The problem for your perimeter defense, if you close hard on Holiday and beat you that way. And Ingram puts up a deep three. And again, Toronto no luck. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep sense. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Now the pass to Lyles. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Julius Randle picks one up. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep. Just dropping triple after triple. Randall kicks to Ingram. A rebound by the Bucks. Miles got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Holiday with it. Now defended by Randall. The shot by Holiday, no good. Here's West. Nine points in the game so far. Randall right side. Over Middleton. That's in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Randall. You can count on Westbrook with they die. Pass to Nance. Middleton outside. Just holiday. Over Westbrook. Milwaukee. No good that time either. The Raptors have gone to even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Passes it to Ingram. Fourteen feet away. Milwaukee with the rebound. Miles got rebound number ten tonight with that last one. Now here's Nance. And there's the pass to Nora. Nance a screen. Nora, the pass to Middleton. Puts up a deep three. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got nine rebounds now tonight. Loads it up for Williamson. Up high to stop the alley -oop. Great ball movement by B.I. Spots a wide open teammate and feeds him. And Milwaukee comes their first time out of the game. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. Vanderbilt checked in for Toronto. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Rubio's checked in. Phenomenal as always, your Raptors, one, one, seven. He kicks to Middleton. Over Ingram, shots good by Middleton. Middleton's got 24 points. And just about every one of Middleton's shots is a smart one. Even from mid-range, he's not going to force anything. Ingram against Middleton. And it's Ingram missing. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Holiday up top. He's covered by Westbrook. Holiday, the pass to Rubio. Miles with the screen. They find Jay on the way. And it's Rubio getting it to go. And now it's a 12 point Milwaukee lead. You see the defender right there playing physical. Trying to impose his wheel, but Rubio's tough. Here's Westbrook. Holiday with the clock. Now Rubio. He has six. From 13, here's Lyles. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Raptors have gone six of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Westbrook dishes to Harris. 
to Randall. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Nance. Rubio at the elbow. Oh, that's not a great foul for Rubio's career. Shoots well over 80% from the line. The Bucks have an exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Ricky Rubio taking two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Ricky Rubio. What you get with Rubio, good size for a guard, terrific playmaker, and trying to become a better scorer. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Kayla Martins checked in for Julius Randle. Marshall comes in for Ingram. Tim Hardaway Jr. is checked in for Harris. And it's Reddish in for Russell Westbrook. Jazz to Vanderbilt. Now, here's Reddish, guarded by Holiday. That one falls. Reddish has got his second bucket of the night. Creative with the ball. Reddish will only get better and better operating out of the pick and roll. And it's out of bounds. Okay. The Raptors will take it the other way. Looking now at the numbers for Middleton. A very nice season for him last year. He put up about 15 points a game last season. Five assists and four rebounds. And most of all, you have to love the defensive grit he brings to games when he comes off the bench. Absolutely. Just when you think you've got a good flow going as a score, he'll come and shut your water off. Hardaway, no good. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Holiday, the pass to Hernan Gomez. And here is Wild. Shot clock at five. Here's Middleton. From 16 feet away, he can Middleton's got 26. And watching that defensive effort right there, you wonder how much they want this game. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. Clark is checked in for Vanderbilt. Damian Lee is checked in for the Bucks. That is the pass to Marshall. Clark outside to the inside. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket for Martin. Caleb Martin likes the high percentage shots. He'll finish as close in as he can. Pass to Middleton. Beyond the arc. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Just not feeling it from beyond the arc. Sometimes that happens. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Reddish kicks to Hardaway. Martin with it. Reddish finds Martin. Six on the shot clock. Clark sets a screen for Martin. Over Herning Gomez. It's deflected. Rubio looking it over. Gomez with a screen on Hardaway. Rubio with it. And it's Reddish picking him up. Rubio misses. Raptors trail by 12. Right side Hardaway. No good off the back of the rim. Milwaukee has gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. And the pass to Rubio. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And while we can, here's a look at the teams that had the fastest hands in the league last season. Number one, the Raptors. You, you know, I don't know if the numbers even told the story. I mean, their defense was as good as it gets, often just leaving their opponents completely demoralized. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Reddish. And he lobs it up toward the rim. It's stolen by Wiles. Rubio outside. Pass to Middleton. 
and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And if you foul Milton in the act, you may as well chalk the point up. He's always been a very consistent free throw shooter. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Hardaway dishes to Westbrook. With the drive from the low block, fouled on the shot, picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. He is absolutely not afraid of anybody. Russ takes on anyone, anywhere, and plays with such tenacity. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Milwaukee leading by 14. Middleton with it. Hardaway picks him up. Middleton can't get it to go. Mono shooting 45% from the field since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Rubio against Westbrook. Three-pointer. Sinks the triple. Westbrook's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Raptors. Check out Russell utilizing his range and making the most of that look. Fell through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to open. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put on a batter for you. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Williamson out there with Randall. Then it's Gary Harris. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Westbrook in at the one spot. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Mr. Williamson back to Westbrook. Ingram outside. Ingram drawing the double team. Westbrook, that's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Right at the basket is where Westbrook wants to be. He is fearless about going inside. And Rubio kicks to Lee. Hucks passing it around. Rubio outside. And another three Rubio. from Milwaukee. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Ingram outside. Here the step back. Again, Toronto. A high usage guy. Ingram always takes a lot of high percentage shots. Rubio, the pass to Lyle. And again, it's Milwaukee converted. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Ingram against Giannis. Ingram kicks to Randall. Off target from outside. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Miles no good. Randall dishes to Westbrook. Ingram drawing the double team. Lobs it up there for Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. You can run your offense through Brandon Ingram. He can make plays for others, and he's an excellent finisher. Passes to Andacumbo. And the double up on Andacumbo. Kicks it out to Rubio. A three-pointer off the mark. Raptors trail by 13. Ingram outside. Down low. And the dunk by Williamson. You know what you're going to get when Zion's at the rim. An aggressive finish. Westbrook against Rubio. Elbow shot. Randall grabs the board. Toronto, they've gone an outstanding 4 or 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Randall a screen on under the Kumbo. Here's Ingram. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Rubio outside. And there's the pass to Hernan Gomez. Randall brings the double team. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Randall. Timeout called the Bucks. Drew 
Holiday has checked in for the Bucks. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, here was Adrian Griffith's message during the huddle. He told him it's all about maintaining the lead. He told him he knows it's easy to get comfortable when you're in this position, but that they need to keep the pressure on. Guys? Thank you, David. Knocks down the three ball. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Holiday against Westbrook. Dishes it to Ingram. And oh, the block shot crams it out of the air. Giannis passes to Holiday. On to Nakumbo against Ingram. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Brandon Ingram. And how about the attack there from Giannis inside? Going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. Griffin's check in for the Bucks. Rose comes in for Damian Lee. So, Steve, you were drafted by the Heat. Young expansion team at the time down in Miami. But if you had to choose... Which city would you give an expansion team to right now? I think Seattle and Las Vegas are at the top of everyone's list. San Diego would be nice because I love to travel there. I love when Vancouver had a team. How about bringing that team back, Kevin? Miles a screen on Westbrook. Holiday. And again, the Bucks miss. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. Westbrook passes to Randall. Ingram outside. Ingram drawing the double team. Over to the left wing. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. Onto DeCumbo has got seven rebounds in the game. To the paint. Here's Holiday. Rebound by the Raptors. And here is Ingram. Randall a screen on Giannis. A floater. That's in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Ingram. Ingram uses that floater so effectively. Pulls it out of his bag when the defense isn't expected. Has Toronto to Kumbo. And again, the Bucks miss. Toronto's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Williamson. He dishes it to Ingram. And here's Harris from the arc. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Ingram's got his fourth assist in this one. Giannis outside. Pass to Wiles. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Wiles got five points in the quarter. Raptors trail by ten. Now here's Westbrook. Passes it to Ingram. Puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by Lyle. Lyle's got 13 rebounds in the game. See the you see Griffin keeping his eyes up, looking for a hole in that defense. Randall a screen on Giannis. Giannis against Ingram. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Fifth personal foul. And that one falls for Ingram. Milwaukee making a switch. At the line for Toronto. That one is no good. Bucks leading by 11. Giannis outside. Nance passes to Holiday. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. They get Russell Westbrook. This is a tough kid. Holiday's fought through injuries. He's a physical player and a fearless player as well. And Ingram has got the ball here for Toronto. Randall with a screen for Ingram. Over Giannis. And it's Ingram missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Onto Dekumbo looking over the floor. Here's Norrell, guarded by Harris. 
Six to shoot. Over in the corner, onto to Kumbo. Three pointers off the mark. Raptors trail by 13. Handle a screen on Nates. 14 feet away. Rebound Giannis into the Kumbo. Milwaukee's got eight shots off from three point land and hit half of them. Holiday against Ingram. And Nance kicks to Giannis. Middleton for three. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. For three. Giannis has got five assists tonight. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And again, Toronto, no luck. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 10 to 1 run. Westbrook against Holland. Here's Giannis. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. And this is where you feed Giannis. The closer he is, the more dangerous he becomes. Ingram against Middleton. Ingram kicks to Harris. Outside Westbrook. A three-pointer no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And it's Giannis missing. Raptors trail by 18. Now Westbrook. Ingram drawing the double team. That's a two from Randall. And good. And the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. We talk about Randall's ability to score in a variety of ways. That time in a catch and shoot situation. There's the pick. With the crossover, and Giannis gets it to go. Giannis has got 10 points here in the second half. Love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused, and they've executed. And now we present our New Balance player of the game. Giannis onto the Kumbo. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and, and it really backfired. Instead, he's just opened them up. He was aggressive, inviting the contact, and really just taking it straight to him. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. I love how hard he's playing, really, since the break. All the defense can do at this point is foul him. Nance a screen on Randall. Here's onto Takumbo, and the shot goes in. Giannis has got eight here in the quarter. And what balance on the finish. Onto Takumbo, such a tough cover for the D. Outside Westbrook. 20 feet out. And the rejection by Giannis. Holiday looking for an opening. Here's the teardrop. Toronto grabs the miss. Ingram's got six rebounds here tonight. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Holiday against Westbrook. Now the pass to Nuoro. He's looking for Giannis and finds him. And they double up Giannis. The shot by Holiday, no good. Raptors trail by 18. Randall passes to Westbrook. 124 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Ingram. Great D that time for Middleton. And for Milwaukee. They're shooting it well here in the fourth quarter, 50%. And this is what they wanted, I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. He can definitely be considered a statement win for the Bucks. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight here. And they just didn't seem to let up, whether the last several shots went down or not. Three after three, it just seemed to pay off for them. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Giannis Antetokounmpo. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the effort won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. 
And Toronto turns it over again. And this is like another case of Murphy's Law right now, and it's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. A new lineup here for the Bucks. Miles, it's a screen for Rubio. The tray, and the three ball is good. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 13 rebounds. Randall with the ball. The dish to Ingram. Off the mark and the drop continues. And here's Rubio. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. All right, David, thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now.